uh, the players in particular, the guys that you were able to coach, just what do you remember about their commitment back in those days, knowing that they had a program that they, that was, that was going to be built off of them? The, you know, the foundation of the program is obviously within the players and the culture of, you know, what they bring to the university and, you know, guys from a very young age, you know, years ago did a great job with that. Uh, you know, it didn't matter about the facility that we played in. Uh, they were professional in their approach on a daily basis, whether it be on the ice or in the classroom. And that foundation of who they were and what they brought to the university is why the program continued to move on and why the university continued to invest uh, within the sport. You had those teams in the beginning that were gritty, that, that, that did all those accomplishments. And now you have those teams that start to break the records based off of that steady progression that you're just talking about. Yeah, we had, you know, it's, it's, a, it's been a, a good steady progression, uh, like you just said, in terms of some blue collar kids that came in and just overachieved and worked their tails off. And as the talent continued to uh, improve and, and some of those classes, obviously we built in some early days with, with some, you know, the Markarian guys. And then we went through, you know, Pruitt, Gamer, Kings and Erie's and, and we had some great groups coming through uh, there and, and, and against and, and, and those guys in terms of breaking records and, you know, but when I look at those groups, they were just, they were all in their own special groups and special kids, uh, you know, with a common goal. Those groups from the early days, Mark Hearing and my, my first groups there, the, there was a group of guys that just had a chip on their shoulder and something to prove that they, you know, they were, you know, PO'd that they weren't recruited at bigger programs and they had a chip on their shoulder. And then you get the next group of guys that, you know, we won some recruiting battles and they still had something to prove. And then, you know, that you mentioned against the group and the Gladiator, they come in and, and they, and they as well had something to prove. They, you know, they, they wanted to build a facility. They wanted to prove to the school that, you know, we could invest in this program. So the groups, you know, all had something to prove. And I think that's kind of like the common theme is, you know, you want to leave the program in a better place than you found it. And when you named all those groups, that's what they did, you know, from when they came in to when they left, they left it in a better place than they found it. And, you know, I think that's the pride. That's all you want to know, know that you did. You left something in a better place that you found it. So, you know, I would, I would say each one of those groups did exactly that. And when you look at this program, um, there's still plenty of altitude left to climb. And, and when you look at this league and the way that it's grown, um, I know you feel this way, but Bentley has certainly been a cornerstone of the growth within the league. And there's in this program in particular right now is a, is a good example of why. Yeah. I mean, obviously I think that, you know, the league has continued to grow tremendously and, you know, uh, Bentley has been very fortunate to be part of this league. Uh, you know, us as a program, we talked about growth, everything's just a building block, you know, from, from the, the early days, from 50 years ago to, you know, 40 years ago to 30 years ago to in the jar, you know, build our first locker room in the jar, build your new facility. Everything's a building block. And, and, you know, I'm very fortunate to be part of that building process. Our current team is an amazing group of guys and is an amazing team. Uh, you know, we just, hopefully we can get the, the COVID situation under wraps and, you know, uh, across the board and be able to get some consistency going and play some consistent games. And, you know, I'm really excited for what this program, this current team and roster can do. I think it's as strong as any roster we've ever had. Uh, you know, so I'm excited for the remainder of the year.